I'm Lauren Pastrana, and this is your CBS Miami News Brief. First, let's get a check of the travel forecast with meteorologist Dave Warren. Well, we are watching the tropics here, pretty active just off the Atlantic coast, but uh, not impacting land directly here. So here's a look at the forecast, what to expect. Uh, we'll start off in the southeast. Uh, we have just a few showers there across Florida and uh, many of the southeastern states getting these pop up showers and storms. Upper 80s, lower 90s. Chris just off the coast of the Carolinas, staying there, creating some rough surf, but you see the rain and the wind associated with that is well off the coast. Hot again across the northeast, but some cooler air is coming in behind a cold front could produce just a few showers. Passing through the areas. Pretty dry across the northern plains, maybe just a passing shower around Minneapolis, 90s and mid 80s there. Southwest is hot again, temperatures near 100 degrees, 70s across the Pacific Northwest with a few showers just north of Seattle. Back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. Prince William and Kate's third child, Prince Louis, was baptized today in a small private ceremony in central London. CBS 4's Tina Krause has more on the royal christening. Proud grandparents Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla led the way, and the Cambridge family of five followed. Older brother Prince George and big sister Princess Charlotte ready to celebrate the baptism of their little brother, Prince Louis. The 11 week old prince slept in his mother Kate's arms as the Archbishop of Canterbury, who performed the christening, greeted the Duke and Duchess. Royal fans celebrated the baptism outside St. James's Palace. No TV cameras were allowed in the chapel for the 40-minute service, which included a mix of hymns and lessons from the Bible. Little Louis, who is fifth in line to the British throne, was dressed in the same frilly cream gown that his older siblings wore at their baptisms. It's a replica of the intricate lace and satin dress made for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter in 1841. Keeping with tradition, the tiny prince was splashed with water from the River Jordan. Uncle Prince Harry and wife Meghan were among the guests for the small family affair. Harry reportedly gave his nephew a rare first edition Winnie the Pooh book worth more than $10,000. His late mother, Princess Diana, loved the classics and always read him bedtime stories. Prince William and Kate have chosen six godparents for Prince Louis, a mix of childhood friends and relatives. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. Prince Louis is Queen Elizabeth's seventh great-grandchild. The 92-year-old queen and her husband, Prince Philip, were not at today's baptism, but palace officials say their absence was planned and there are no health concerns. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.